here was the main entrance to the camp. Here was a sign Arbeit macht frei. It was here. But through this gate, the Jews taken by the trams, by the rails. You know that this branch of the rails doesn't work. So it was a special branch through which the Jews caught in the center were taken to this place. Um, a few words about the history of the concentration camp. Uh, is written here uh, despite on this spot there was the main entrance to the Yanovska concentration camp. Can't why? Nobody knows. Okay. I swear nobody knows about the entrance here. Those people who can draw the swastika they don't know about it. So uh, you can see the rail branch which leads nowhere. It really leads nowhere. Because a lot of the rails that the Jews caught in the central part of the city um, were taken here to the concentration camp. The concentration camp is also right 500 meters from the main entrance to the Yanovska concentration camp, or to the um, Kliparovska railway station. So uh, from all directions, people were forced to get to the concentration camp. Um, formally, um, the existence, the existence um, of the camp may be divided into three periods. Uh, it was organized uh, in August 1941 uh, as uh, uh, a labor camp. But, um, and the prisoners, not prisoners, why, workers, uh, were even allowed to go home every, every evening. But uh, at the end of August, one day, not beautiful, one terrible day, um, the gate of the concentration camp closed forever and ever. So uh, the workers uh, were changed into prisoners. Uh, but anyway, the first uh, period of existence of the camp was labor period. Then it was a transit camp because from it the people who were not able to work anymore were taken to Belgians. And uh, the third period, uh, the saddest period, uh, the period of its liquidation. Um, uh, the period of the liquidation of the concentration camp. Uh, um, um, all the Jews were killed. Uh, and uh, um, when uh, Nazis understood uh, that soon the city will be liberated by the Soviet army, they forced uh, the prisoners who still was alive to excavate the corpses, but I will tell you about that a little bit later on the spot where it took place. Um, it is also very interesting uh, that uh, when the Nazis uh, chose this place for the concentration camp, uh, it seems that uh, uh, they had some spies in the city because uh, it is interesting that uh, they chose this place very soon. Uh, they came in uh, on the uh, June, um, on the 30th of June, uh, and already in the August. Uh, they organized the concentration camp right here. Uh, it is easy to understand uh, why they uh, chose this place. First, uh, not far from the city center. Uh, second, the rails. Um, uh, third, uh, 
station. Rail sure, of course, railway station. Then uh, um, before the war, here was a small factory. Of course, the owner was Jewish. Uh, his surname was uh, uh, Steihaus. Uh, and there were some barracks already built. So uh, then uh, land, the ground was flat and the ground was sand. It's easy to understand why for so important. So and now we are going to the most terrible uh, place of all our excursion uh, to so-called Valley of Death, to the place of mass execution of prisoners of the uh, by the way, now on the former place of the uh, concentration camp, there is a prison, a very big prison. <laughs> <laughs> just say, um, Tanya, just say what the name of the camp again was? Uh, Janowska. 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 Camp. Uh, because the street leading to this place was Janowska before the war. Janov is a small shtetl not far from the city. Thank you. There was not longer